God, fulfill your plans and your purpose in my life. Raise your voice and pray that prayer. Fulfill your plan and your purpose. 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 Father, fulfill your plan and your purpose. Your plan and your purpose fulfill in my life. Your plan and your purpose fulfill it in my life, oh Lord. In this month of October, your plan and your purpose. Let everything work in me according to your purpose. According to your purpose. According to your purpose, God, let it fulfill in my life. Speak out! 
show, show, show. Every gift, every gift. Divine devil set in my life. The anointing shout it loud. Lord, let the anointing in my life overflow. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that?
gift of God in my life. Listen, say the gifts of God in my life. The gifts of God in my life will speak out. Will speak out. It will arise, it will arise from, this month from this month and make room for me. The gift of God in my life will make a way for me. It will make a way for me. I will succeed. I will conquer. I will triumph by the gift of God in my life. I will prosper. It will make a way. The gift of God will make a way. Raise your voice and pray. And say the gift of God in my life will make a way. Will make a way. Will make a way. Will make a way. Every spiritual gift. Every natural gift.
we have prayed. Stretch your hands like this. Look at me. Stretch your hands into the month of October. Cancel every satanic plan over your life. None of them will become a reality. Raise your voice and cancel it, cancel it, cancel it. Every satanic plan over my life is canceled, is canceled, is canceled. Cancel it, 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 cancel it. Every satanic, satanic intention that is canceled. Every evil cause is canceled, is canceled. Lord, every satanic Speak into your 
October. Bless it, bless it. Declare and say, my October, you are a blessed month. I receive health, not sickness. I receive open door, not closed door. I receive blessing. I receive the gift of God. I know somebody is here. Somebody here is receiving already. Amen. Did you pray? Who prayed? Who prayed? Anybody here? Did you really pray? Everything you have said will come to pass. Now let us read one passage of scripture. How many of you, my students, did my assignment last week? We did rise up. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh. Okay, be seated. Congratulations. Let's clap for them. If you were here last week, rise up. If you were here last week, rise up. I told you this is a class, right? When a student refuses to do assignment, what do we do? King. King. The king will be, every one of you will pay 30, 30 dirhams before you leave tonight. No king. I told you this is a class. Now, I want you to take it serious. Take it serious. Take this assignment serious. It's not good that you have an opportunity that will bless your life and you are just browsing over it. If it was a financial assignment, you will do it because you need that money. But what I'm giving you is more important than money. Come on, are we all here? Come on, are you all here? So please, 
What was the book we supposed to read? You see? Later I will ask them the blessings they received from Matthew 13. But I would like you to punish yourself before I will carry Cain. Cain yourself before I will kill you. This is before God. It's a blessing. We will not take it light if you are not a committed student. Now, if a student fails an exam, will he move your tutor young man? Will he move to the next class? No, sir. If you fail, will you move to the next class? No. So how do you want God to move you to the next class? It's only by mercy that the prayers we are praying will happen. It's only by mercy. By what? Mercy. May God have mercy on you. Yeah. Be seated. Will you do my assignment this week? Yes, sir. Matthew chapter 1? 13. Okay. Now let us read this Matthew again. Let's read Matthew chapter 25 from verse 14 to 13. We pick few things and we are done. Oh, usually we spend more time in prayers than studying the scriptures every first week. Because it is the first week, and today we have anointing. Two things we do uniquely, uniquely every first week. First is prayers, praying and fasting. We spend time because you don't know what is it, what the devil has in store for you. So you have to arm yourself, arm yourself, arm yourself in prayers. Make declarations so that your mood will run smoothly. Hello, are you all here? Yes, sir. So that's why we fast and pray. And we declare things into the mood and they come to pass. Because God said to the children of Israel, what you said in my ear, that is what I will do. Mm. Come on, are you there? Yes, so what you speak into the mood, that's what God will do. If you say to God, this month I will fail, fail, fail. God said, don't worry, you have already failed. <laughs> because you declared failure. But if you say, God, I will rise above September, God, let me, let me give you a secret. God is interested in those who make attempts. See, if you make attempts and fail, God will help to carry you off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then you don't make any attempt. Joshua and Caleb saw giants. See, if God was not with the children of Israel, what, what the other people said was true. The giants will just beat them up. Come on, okay. I don't know whether they, there is no, I don't know whether they watched one film. Something, Johnny, I'm trying to remember. The giants are 12 feet tall. Who is the tallest man here? <laughs> I said tallest man. <laughs> Who laid hands on this guy? <laughs> I have a nephew who is six feet, six or seven or so. I thought he's huge and massive. You look up when you talk to him. There was a day, a day my wife and I met this tall Pakistani guy in one morning. Guess where my wife got him? My wife tried to cross his knee. And I just climbed a little bit above his knee. You have to not look, you see, looking like this is okay, but when you're looking at fellow man being at your neck, <laughs> So those giants were real giants, and they would just fling the children of Israel out. But you know, Caleb looked at them and said, I don't mind your height or what you are. You are a bread that I will eat without prayer. Talk to me, somebody. That's the kind of, you see, but when you see such things and speaking like David, God says, that's the kind of guy I want. So make attempt, make attempt. Don't sit and want things to come to you. Make a practical effort. Do that assignment I've given you, and God will push you forward from there. 
that man should be born. Amen. So let's read this passage and then we, we will. Let's read from Matthew chapter 25 from verse 14. For the kingdom of heaven, we are reading to through verse 30. I will each high commit, mention a few things, then we can deliberate on it maybe much later. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants. A man was traveling to a far country. He called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents. How many talents? Five. Are you are you are you reading with us? Yeah. Okay. To another, how many talents? Two. Two talents to another one. one. So the other one he gave five. To another he gave two. To another he gave one. To every man according to his several ability. Which means the man that received five had the ability to manage five. The man that received two has the ability to manage two. And the man that received one. So he looked into their ability. It was not the need. The man had a lot to give, but he was checking their what? Ability. God cannot give you the burden you will not carry, nor the responsibility you cannot manage. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So, the money you have made so far is allowed by God to come to you, and He is watching how you have managed it. According to the ability to manage resources. And there is something we need to see here. There is an ability in you. Yes, sir. Oh, come on. Somebody said there is an ability in me. Yes, there is an ability in me. Again, there is an ability in nobody me. is without an ability. What is ability? The power to do something. Yes, sir. Yes, come on. Are you there? Yes, sir. If I take all of us down and pair us to two and say, I want to see who will be the fastest runner to run from first floor to this eighth floor, and we time it. Each our abilities and strengths are not the same. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Maybe our brother AGK will come first. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Some of us will, after the first floor, second floor, third floor, <sighs> but there are those who has the ability to do something more. But at least there is an ability. Now, where I'm going is that you are not without an ability. There is something in you. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Never condemn yourself. Never abandon yourself. If you see someone who has run fast, maybe God gave him the strength to be an athletic. If you see somebody that lifts, maybe God gave him the strength. Everyone, there is something in you. There is something in you. There is an ability to do something in this life in you. To every man, according to his what? Several ability. Never condemn yourself. Maybe you are not academically bright. There is a way you are bright. Yes, sir. There is an area that God has given you brightness. Power. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. You've got to seek and search for it and discover it. You are not just empty. Some people are academically super. Are you there? Some people are academicians. Some people are businessmen. I have a friend. He's late now. One of our brothers. Okay, let me just call him. He's a friend as well. He's late now. He said, if you like, prepare an office, arrange it, and make me the managing director, I will not handle it. I like to carry my file, go to the office, work, at the end of the month, pay me salary. And I will go home. And he knows that two of us are in the opposite direction. 
I am a seasoned, thorough, bred, in and out businessman. I've never sat in an office one time I work in. If there's no business, we develop business. That's why you are called business development what? Manager. Manager, yeah. We develop business. You look at a city, there are businesses in the city, you find those opportunities and then bring them to your company. Okay, that's it. So everyone has an ability. Some people like, if this table breaks, my wife, for instance, will find a way to bring it and look for gum and glue it. Ask me what to do. Throw away that table and buy another one. I'm not a technical person anyhow. Even when I was much younger, there, was, there is this card they used to draw with bamboo. They would make, I never made one. I'm not a technical man. So, there are people that are technically inclined. There is something in you. You are not a waste. You are a product. Yeah. That image should be more. Yeah. Are you there? See, whether you are red or you are not. You see, people condemn themselves. And that is why they feel they can do nothing. They resort to stealing. They resort to any other thing that you can easily and otherwise make money. No. There is a talent in your life. There is a gift in your life. There is an ability. Who is agreeing with me today? There is what? I want you to go home tonight and say, Lord, thank you that I'm a bundle of potential. Amen. There is an ability in me. And you're going to pray. That's what we pray. God, every dead ability must come alive. Amen. Who agrees with me? Some people can sew and design. Are you there? Some of our young ladies, they can braid hair. There are people that when they braid hair, they, nobody taught them. Nobody taught them. When they handle your hair, my goodness, you see that girl when she passed men as a young man, you told who is this stainless queen? Because of her hair. Who is here? Yes, sir. Yeah. And you, you, you hit everything like joy soap and fatigue. <laughs> Are you there? Because someone has made her so beautiful. The gift is there. There is something in you that has not spoken. And that thing will speak from this yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Who believes you? he has an ability? Do you believe you have an ability? Sisters, do you believe you have an ability? Brothers, do you believe you have an ability? Tell yourself, I am a bundle of potential. Tell yourself, I am not a waste product. I am a useful product. Tell yourself, there is an ability in me. Shout, Amen. In school, I, I used to tell my wife, there is what they call, that what was called during our school, in you know, secondary school, general maths. And there was a commercial math. I am not a science student, nor a mathematician. It's my wife that is in that class and their family. I'm a history student. I can look for the date when Nandi Aziki will begin to And I'll tell you, I love history. I am an art student. And I discovered that, like, like my wife gave the illustration of one student when she was in the university, that there's this guy that is a total mathematician. But call him to give you the history of what happened in the school. This guy will forget and forget and forget. Excuse me, is this a principle? You say, no, 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 no. Because he is not wired by nature. Some are wired by nature to be arts. Some are wired by nature to be not. Come on, are we together? Some of you can sing. Some of you have the ability to counsel. There is an ability in you. It is a gift given by God to, for you to make a way 
and become great in life. Who is here? Tell yourself it's an ability. Tell yourself I'm not useless. I'm not useless. Tell yourself I am useful. I am useful. You see, many of you think that if because I've not gone to university, I am finished. Is a lie. Neither should you succeed by stealing. No. You know, some people think, okay, I'm not, I, I, my father is poor, I, I was not educated, so I will carry on. It's a lie. The mentality to sit and calculate how to go and steal, how to break, how to, that is mathematics. That brain that does the calculation, the strategy, oh, come on, you're a good manager. The same principle, you can apply it on the positive. I don't know whom I'm talking to. There is an ability. So you must succeed. Amen. But that even is bad. Amen. Because of that ability, God will lift you higher in the name of Jesus. So I just want you to know today that there is something in you that God is going to polish. There is something in you God is going to do what? That ability. From this month, it will speak out. From this month, it will manifest. Now, let's go further. And straight away, he took his journey. So he called his servants, he gave them. The first one received how many? Five. Second, how many? And the other one, how many? One. Okay. Let's conclude. Let's read for that. Let's continue. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same. And made them other five talents. So he went and traded, which means he see the idea is he he took a step and put into use the talent that was in him. That talent was there. How many of you have heard of Frank Edward? You heard of Frank Edward? Yes, sir. Have you listened to his testimony? He used to hawk. Hawk? Well, I don't know what about. Do you know that as he was at that age hawking, the talent in him was dormant and inactive? Yet nobody knew that that hawker was a, a, a superstar. Mm. Mm. When you call him, bring that ground out, he went wrong. He was running to go and to sell with, with the talent in him. Sorry. Sorry. Wherever he went, that talent was there, but the talent had not spoken. Mm. And he was busy doing other things, which was okay until the day mm. he began to take a step yeah, yeah. to put the talent into action. From one small stage to another higher stage, until, until, until he went and traded with the same and made the other five talents. If you don't put your talent into business, not necessarily buying and selling, into action, you will not rise. Must start from somewhere. Somebody shout to me. Amen. Some of you has the voice to sing. There is that thing in, in you that God is telling me it needs to be activated. Now let's continue. He traded with five. How many did he get? Five. five. Okay, let's read. And likewise, he that had received two also gained another two, right? How do you gain by trading? You just say he made profit. Okay, now let's go to the next 18 quickly. Hello. But he that had received one uh -oh, went and did the act and hid, hid his Lord's money. He went and did the act, the ground, and put it there, covered it. He covered his time. He buried it. That's what it is. He buried his talent. Now, let's let us know why he buried his talent. Continue. 
after a long time. This is very important. God gives us a long time to see what you can do with your time. The issue with many of us is we have not realized there is a talent in you. That there is an ability in you. Who is here? Are you with me? Yes, sir. There is something you can do in this life. Ability. Given to you by God. See, God did not bring anyone into the world empty. There is something in you. Something. Amen. Amen. There's an ability where? Amen. Amen. Money is not your problem. Because as I told you of Frank, it was not money that made him. It was the ability that made him. Yes, sir. True or false? True, sir. The voice and the techniques. You see, he came out with a brand new, different style of song. Combined English with Igbo in such an Oyibo style that Oyibo has begun to sing Igbo. Amen. Yes, sir. <laughs> True or false? True. Yeah! He so polished it. See, there is something in you. There is something in you. Don't get angry with yourself that you've not discovered it. Because you are going to discover it by prayer this month. Amen. Amen. Age is not a problem, no matter how far. Age is not a problem. Don't allow age to tell you, hey, you can't. Do you know when KFC discovered KFC? Age 65. He tried everything in his life and failed. Everything. Nothing responded. So he said, okay, since I, I know how to cook, okay, that's the only thing he knew how to cook. Not knowing that that's where the breakthrough was coming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he just went, just, yeah, he just went and got some spices and mixed with the chicken and he was knocking at the door of the pool. Hey, I have this chicken, can you buy? So some tested it. <laughs> nah, this guy did different from the one in the morning. And so he gave, he gave, he gave. People began to place orders. This chicken supply, supply. From placing orders, he raised the money to rent a shop. And from renting a shop, more orders began to come because of the spice. Till today, nobody has discovered that spice. No matter what you try, they they, they kept it secret. It's the same chicken. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the difference is the spice. Mm. Somebody said talent. Talent. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Tell yourself I'm a bundle of potential. I'm a bundle of potential. Somebody here will rise above KFC. Oh, that's a man should have been standing on fresh. I said somebody here will rise above KFC. Do you agree with me? Sit down. So don't let age tell you, ah, this head, you go feel, remember everything. No, until that, no, there are things that when it happens, you know you have power. After a long time, now God has given you a long time. Shout Amen. Amen. He's still waiting for you. Never die with the bundle of gift in your hand. As someone said, that burying ground, the burial ground is full of potentials of unused natural gifts. Books people are supposed to write, they did not write. Discoveries they suppose because they felt I will, I will, I will. You will not die with it. Yeah. You will release it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. After a long time. So God gave the the, 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 the the Lord gave them a long time to trade. Tell yourself I have time. I have time. 
Now you are going to spend some of this time you have in prayer and say, just let, let, let's put it this way, that every Wednesday in October, you are going to spend it in fasting and say, God, let my talent speak out. I'm giving you an assignment. Every Wednesday in October, what are you going to pray? Let my talent speak out. God, let my talent. There's one time when I was the youth president of our church in those days. I have the gift of seeing what is in a person. God's grace. If I interact with you, I can see your natural gift and discover where you belong. So I called him and said, hey, bro, Peter, you're an artist. I didn't know he was an artist. And actually, he was an artist. Peter can draw. I said, okay, Peter, go and learn how to play bass guitar. You can make it. He said, but daddy, daddy, daddy. No, he said, Bryce. Then I wasn't a daddy. He said, Bryce. Then, he said, Bryce. then, do you know Peter later ended up becoming the bassist of the church? So he skilled player. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Hello, are you with me? Yes, sir. All you need now is take a step to develop it. So everyone, I say, all of us will pray. Everyone, what remind me, are we all together? Yes, sir. We are going to pray. Let the talent in me do what? Speak out to manifest. Somebody shout to me. Yeah. After a long time, so we have time. Tell yourself, I have time ah. to manifest the talent in me. That does not stop you from doing whatever you are doing now. Like that our brother continued walking until he began to sing. Maybe, I don't know, somebody must have heard him sing. Say, hey, this guy in my voice. In one way or the other, that talent stuck out. Okay. After a long time, the Lord of those servants come or came and reckoned with them. Next, 19. And so he that had received five talents came and brought another five talents, saying, Lord, you delivered unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside the five talents more. This is the one you gave me. This is my profit. Multiplying your talent. Can I hear Amen. Amen. What am I saying? Multiplying your talent. Look at what it means. What I'm saying is it means the talent in you can be what? Multiplied. The talent in you can be what? Multiplied. Tell yourself the talent in me. My talent. My talent. Will surely be multiplied. I will put it to work and it will multiply. That means the ability in you has the potential of multiplication to reproduce it. He said, you gave me five talents. This is another one I have by trading. I have gained. God is a faithful God. Who knows that this God is a faithful God? Are you all with me? Yes, sir. If you don't take a step. Okay, we'll see that later. Okay, the five got another five. Which means you can gain 100%. This is five, another five. is exactly what? 100%. Hello? True or false? True. Okay. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Good and what? Faithful servant. We talk about the faithful servant a little bit. You have been faithful over a few things. Not many. Over what? A few. few. I will make you ruler oh, over many. Because you are faithful in few. When you're faithful in anything small, because his eye will make it bigger. Somebody shout at me. God, this salary is 1,000 now. You understand? I can't pay tight. When it is 5,000, I will pay 500. It's a lie. The story goes a man had, is it five? No. 
few, he had them. Um, I think that was five uh, chicken or so. And he was praying, God, let this my, my chicken what I'd like to take. I will give you five. And God asked him, the five you have, how many have you given? <laughs> Most of you are praying for promotion in your life, financial promotion. And God is saying, the one in your hands, what have I seen as a ritual? You are not faithful in this small one I gave you. Salary of 1,000, you can't pay. Ordinary 100. You will not pay when it is 2,000. You will not. Ah, you've got 1,000. You have this plan, this and that. <laughs> Who is here? Are we discussing? If you are not faithful in small things, Bible, look up Bible. You see, there, some of you live around in Nakil and all that. To pay six dinam or just walk down is very difficult. And you want God to do something great. No, you can't take a step. So for yourself, I'm going to the house of God. Let me let me trek there. Let me walk down there. Some of you want the church to pay and pay and pay. Thank God for some of you who come by yourself. The Lord will bless you. Amen. Are you there? Yes, sir. When we invest, he said, you were faithful in small, over few things. I will make you ruler. Over what? Many, many over what? Many, many. I will let anything to yes, you. Sir. For your talent to increase, you have to put it to work. And don't, let me give you a secret, don't undermine your talent. No matter how small. Shout amen. Amen. Are we all learning anything? Don't undermine your Talent. Okay, let's enter. And he said to him, Enter you into the joy of your Lord, which means I'm going to give you promotion. Promotion comes as a result of faithfulness in small things. Ask yourself how faithful you are financially, spiritually. Read one chapter in a week, you cannot. Don't you see that there is danger there? One chapter, I gave us one chapter for one whole week. Some did not even think. See, you must be faithful in a small thing. Are we going to pass this exam? Yes, sir. You know, I'm helping you. Somebody say amen. amen. Are you ready to cooperate with God? Hello, are you ready to cooperate with God? Let me tell you, this young man did not know you will be made ruler. I will make you ruler. He was a trader. Now he became a ruler. Don't you see the promotion there? Yes, sir. Hello, are we discussing? Yes, sir. Who is ready to change? Anybody, are you ready to change? I just, I just. When money comes into your hand, look at it and say, this money, God, you ordered it into my hands. You have a portion here. When you sleep, tell yourself, this life I'm living, God, you have a portion in my life. I will share 24 hours with you to study my Bible because of me, not you, because of my life. Father, you will have a share in my life. I will give you my time. Cut off. Now, next. Next. He also that has received two talents came and said, Lord, you delivered unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained. Remember the other one gained? Five gained. Are you there? Okay. And the one I received to say, I have gained two other talents beside them. Now, next. He's not said unto him, Well done, you good and faithful. You see, there was a commendation. Oh, let's not get into that. It will take a moment. There was a commendation. God is excited. When we multiply the gifts in our lives, are you there? Are you learning anything? This yes, time? sir. Tell yourself every gift of God in my life, every gift of God in my life shall be multiplied. I will make every effort to multiply them. Amen. It was not the Lord of that servants that pushed them. Look at it. They were the ones who took his step and did and put in every effort and God honored it. Okay? You have been, that is, the master said, you have been, you, thou has been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler. 
over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Now next, let's see the other guy. Then he which has received the one talent came and said, Lord, I know you are a hard man, very wicked man. <laughs> Reaping where you did not sow. Gathering where you did not straw. Next. He started accusing his Lord. His wicked God. Now what from you? Why did you not make me Prince Charles? <laughs> As you, have been, as you have been a citizen of, of London and America, you threw me into this African nonsense. <laughs> Where there is no light. How will I succeed in darkness? So, excuse and accusation. Who is here? Are we all together? Yes, Many of you condemn yourself. You get so angry that you are an African. That's why you punish yourself. God made you black. You have become a evil. <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? That's the truth. I don't like this color. God, this color must go. Your nose is like mine. You say, no, you know who to make I make a pure. My eye, the inside. Part, part here, part here. My lips. <laughs> Some people ask, God. Two of us. Yeah, some people are not just okay by themselves. Some ladies, their back is somehow, they say, no, he's too small. More cushion. You don't look at me like that. Some people, God gave them ground. They may size them. God knows your size. And he gave you your cup. Some say, this cup is too small. No, God, I need it enlarge it. And some young men will say, no. I should become a lady. Open this ear. They will put head, nose, tongue. I don't know how they eat. <laughs> yes, yeah. Pierce nose. Oh, can you have here for me? Come on. I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the earth. Lo! This is it. That is done. Next. And his Lord answered and said, Thou wicked and slothful servant. The other ones were called good and faithful. Two of all. This one was called what? Wicked and lazy. The word slothful means what? Lazy. Come on, this is where many miss it. They want quick, fast way. Cross your leg and then the money flows. Money can never flow without any step. Seriously. They won't be quick. While they are thinking, how will I manipulate to hack this account and hit money? Malaysia. I have arrived from Malaysia. I'm a digital money guy. Yeah! I've arrived from Dubai. I've arrived from London. How did you make it? You manipulated somebody's account, transferred the money into your own account, and another person will manipulate your own account and transfer your own money. <laughs> because what you sow. Hello, are we all discussing? Yes. He's not answered and said unto him, You wicked and lazy servant. Let me tell you, God hates laziness. If there's anything you are going to pray, God, show me how to multiply my talent. I am ready to walk. Are you there? God hates what? Laziness. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. See, you have to crack. You have to be ready to crack your brain for your talent to manifest. You knew that I reap where I did not sow and gather where I have not struck next. I don't want to stretch this thing. It's, it's, you ought to have put my money to the exchangers and then at my coming I should have received my own with usury. The explanation here is that 
your brain is so dummy that you can't even reason out an option for profit. At least, instead of hiding my money, you go and loan it. Give it as a loan. Exchange us. Please trade. I don't know how to trade. Put it there. At least at the end, you charge them interest. Yes, sir. God is a businessman. Are you there? This illustration was given by Jesus himself, which means God is a businessman. He knows that trading, he knows everything in the trading industry and the business industry. Come on, are we all together? Yes, sir. So that guy meant and him because one of the translations says, okay, continue later, I will, I will open it up. Take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him which has ten talents. Continue. For unto everyone that has shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that has not shall be taken away, even that one you have. This is dangerous, so my wife knows that I have this load and try to have, because if you don't have, the one you have will be taken. Try to make an effort. Try to take a step. The servant was afraid. Fear is what keeps young men from aspiring. Suppose I fail. It is better to fail than you start again. Yes, sir. The saying goes that it is better to try something and fail than to do nothing and succeed. Are we all listening together? So it is time to take action. Because Royal Mission will raise me billionaires here. Amen. Amen. Have you ever sat down to envision yourself where you're going in life? Who and what you want to be? Who and what you want to be? This guy went and hid it. See, a lot of your talents are buried. Not by any spiritual power, but bent by you yourself as an act of laziness. You are not ready to do anything. You just want to relax and let things happen to you. It doesn't work that way. There must be an action. Amen. Somebody shout to me. Amen. Don't let me encourage you. Don't feel contented, relaxing, and receiving salary. Ask yourself a question. Somebody owns this company. Two of us. Two. Now, there is, like I told you about business development. The rich <laughs> employs the, the mentality or the, 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 the knowledge of the poor. He sits, they sit in the office and say, you can, uh, you, they need salesmen. And you say, yes, okay, you're a salesman. He has this thing to sell. Go and look for the buyer, and I will pay you. And you go and say, please, I have this to sell. I have this to sell. I have our company has this. You're working because you know at the end you will be paid. But another one sits down and says, OK, where can I get this cheap? To whom will I sell it to? Business without money. Running an agency. You find where to buy and where to supply. And you convince this man, I can assist you to sell your product, and I'll bring customers to you. Or me and you can go and supply them. Follow me to go and do the supply. Think of rising above salary level. Think of becoming a manager yourself. Think. What have I said? Yeah. What have I said? Yeah. Some of you are not thinking. What you're thinking is how to show up with your salary at the end of the month. The salary line said, hey, bro, he, he came, uh, my salary is here. Come, come, come. Uh, this, this shit I saw, with 1,000, you spend 800. <laughs> One shopping. iPhone comes, you buy. Why phone comes, you buy. You, uh, you, have registered, you have registered for eternal poverty. If your life runs in that. 
But a developer will sit down and think on how to promote his life financially and otherwise. To multiply, to multi not to consume. Blacks are consumers. I have to wake you up. Somebody shout to me. Amen. Sincerely, blacks are heavy consumers. We buy the biggest cars. See, before, I mean, we even will buy a, a Bentley. The Arabs, no one, these Arabs are classified under blacks. If I tell you how they are said in this region, you will not buy it. Let it be. Your head needs to be developed. Say amen. 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 The talent in you, we have to call it up. We have to do what? Call it up. Call it up. Let me stop at that. No more laziness in royal mission. Amen. Amen. Tell yourself, I'm not lazy. I'm not lazy. I'm a bright person. I'm a bright person. There is potential in me. Talk to yourself. They say, I have I, I am a burden of potential. There's a talent in me that will make way for me. I will pray it out. Can I hear amen? Amen. amen. So as we enter October, something different will happen to your brain. Amen. Amen. Who agrees with me to shout amen? amen? The gift in your life will no more remain or be buried anymore in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to bring it up by prayer every Wednesday. You and I will fast. Do we all agree with me? Yes, sir. No more laziness. No more what? Laziness. No more idleness. We are going to take a step. We will not be that lazy and wicked. So if you are not working or active, you are designated as what? Lazy and wicked. But if you are working, you are designated as what? Good and faithful. Who wants to be good and faithful? Anybody here? Yes, sir. Do you agree with me? Yes, so we are just going to rise up in a summary and pray this night. Sorry I've taken a lot of our time, but this is the beginning of the month. We spend more time in prayers so that the blessings in the month. Do you know that there's a woman we heard that by her time she built a house. Her time, her time. There's one place where I traveled last year. I was staying in one, good, one hotel anyway, one private hotel. And I love to, I love Akara and Ogi. So I called my friend, can you tell me where they sell good Akara in this area? Do you know I entered my car in Lagos, in Lagos? And because the driver did not come early that morning, so <laughs> if anybody I asked, please, where did they sell? They would, they, everybody pointed to a one woman. I drove without missing was two kilometers to go and buy a car. Why? Because everybody, there might be others. Oh, no, no, fuck it. Nobody. <laughs> no, that one. No. And you know when I got there, the woman had not opened. She was about to come and see people waiting for this one. A man's gift makes way for him. Yes, sir. Some people say, Ah, this woman, not Juju. No, Juju! Yeah. You want to tell me that KFC has Juju? <laughs> <laughs> no, we did, there's a way we define things. Instead of creating a healthy competition, we go, we resort to nonsense. There is something there in the way, there's a way she prepares her own in a unique way. Who is here with me? The gift in her began to speak. So, don't worry. That woman has a character. Oh, don't worry. There is a reference. So, she un, un, unconsciously began to receive referrals. Referrals. <laughs> go there. Go there. One young man wanted to join me in my car, but I was not too comfortable about him to drive me, to take me there. What am I saying? A man's gift makes way. There's a gift in you that will make way for you. Amen. See, you are not in foreign land by accident. 
So the gift you have will speak here. Yeah. So rise up as we pray and fast. Somebody shout amen. Yeah. We are going to pray and say, Father, as I am in this strange land, let the gift in my remember I've told you that there is a gift in your life. You are not a useless person. Can I hear amen? Yeah. The natural and spiritual gift God has given you will speak out this night. Amen. That amen should be more. Yeah. Do you agree with me? Yeah. Tell yourself no more laziness. No more, no more idleness. No the gifts in my life will speak powerfully. No more laziness. Now pray with me and say, Oh Lord, let the gifts in my life speak from this night. Raise, raise your voice and begin to pray. Just pray it and pray. And say, Lord, as I go to take me, the gift in my life will make a way for me. The gift you've given me. The gift you've given me. Lord, let it speak. Let it speak. Let it speak. Let it speak. Raise your voice and pray. God wants to hear you. Father, let your gift speak. Speak out. Speak out. Speak out. Speak out. Let your gift, Father, speak out in the lives of your children. Let it, Father, manifest mightily, powerfully. Let it speak out. Oh, Lord, let your gift, Father, someone pray that prayer. In my life, oh, Lord, when I speak, when I sleep, let it speak. In the office, let it speak. Open my eyes and my ears. Lord, to know what you've called me. Lord, let the gift voice out. More and more and more and more and more. Pray, pray, pray. Glory. Father, in this strange land, this foreign land, use your gift in my life and promote me. Pray that prayer. Tell him, God, use your gift in my life and promote me. The gift in my life, Father, the spiritual time, Lord, promote me, promote me, promote me, lift me up, Father, raise me up, raise me up, lift me high with the gift in my life. The natural gift, Father, lift me up, O oh Lord. If you have prayed that prayer with all your heart, shout Amen in Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. I say in Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Lord, I decree that anyhow, any way, whichever, whatever, however, our gift has been tampered with, the talent you place in our lives. Father, in any way the enemy has tampered, Lord, I command that tampering be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, rekindle the gift in our lives. Amen. Wake it up in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for the end of this service. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Amen. Let every story here lift your life to the next level. Amen. Let this month bring great results in your life. Amen. You will have the greatest testimony of your life this month. Amen. That amen should be three times. Amen. I say it should be three times. Amen. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Amen. And grant you grace and peace forever. Amen. In Jesus' glorious name we have prayed. Amen.